Heat is everywhere. From the warmth of the sun to the engine in a car, heat transfer is fundamental. It shapes our world in countless ways. In the realm of engineering, understanding and predicting heat transfer is crucial. It's the key to designing efficient systems, from tiny microchips to massive power plants. Enter ANSYS Fluent, a powerful software tool that allows engineers to simulate heat transfer with remarkable accuracy. Fluent provides a virtual playground to test designs and optimize performance, all within the digital world. This essay delves into the world of heat transfer modeling using ANSYS Fluent. We'll embark on a journey to understand the different modes of heat transfer, unravel the secrets of the energy equation, and grasp the art of setting up simulations for reliable results. Fasten your seatbelts, as we're about to dive into the fascinating world of heat transfer modeling with ANSYS Fluent. Imagine holding one end of a metal rod and placing the other end in a fire. Slowly, you'd feel the heat creeping up the rod, eventually reaching your hand. This is conduction, the transfer of heat through direct contact. Conduction occurs in solids and is driven by temperature differences. Heat energy travels from hotter regions with more molecular vibrations to colder areas with less. The rate of this heat transfer depends on the material's thermal conductivity, a measure of how easily it conducts heat. Metals with their tightly packed atoms are excellent conductors. Think of a frying pan heating up quickly on a stove. Insulators like wood or rubber have lower thermal conductivity. They resist the flow of heat, making them ideal for handles on cookware. Convection is heat transfer through the movement of fluids, which include both liquids and gases. Picture a pot of water on the stove. As the burner heats the water at the bottom, it becomes less dense and rises, carrying heat energy upward. Cooler water from the top sinks to replace it, creating a continuous circulation called a convection current. Convection is responsible for much of the heat transfer in our atmosphere, oceans, and even within the Earth itself. Forced convection occurs when an external force, like a fan or pump, drives the fluid motion. Think of the cooling system in a computer, where a fan blows air over hot components to dissipate heat. Convection is a dynamic process, often more complex to model than conduction. Unlike conduction and convection, radiation doesn't require a medium to transfer heat. It travels through the vacuum of space as electromagnetic waves. The sun's warmth reaching us across millions of miles is a prime example of radiation. All objects emit and absorb thermal radiation. The hotter an object, the more radiation it emits. This radiation can travel through transparent materials like air or glass. Think of a greenhouse where sunlight enters and warms the interior. The color and surface properties of an object influence its radiation characteristics. Darker colors absorb more radiation while lighter colors reflect it. Understanding radiation is crucial when designing systems exposed to sunlight or high temperatures such as spacecraft or solar panels. Section 5. Phase Change – The Shape of Heat Phase change involves the transformation of a substance from one state of matter to another, such as melting, freezing, boiling, or condensation. These transformations involve significant amounts of heat energy. For instance, melting ice requires heat input, while freezing water releases heat. During a phase change, the temperature of the substance remains constant, even though heat is being transferred. This heat energy goes into breaking or forming the bonds between molecules, rather than increasing their kinetic energy, or temperature. Phase change plays a vital role in many natural and industrial processes. Evaporation cools our bodies through sweating, while condensation in clouds releases heat into the atmosphere. Refrigerators and air conditioners rely on phase change cycles to transfer heat. Section 6. The Energy Equation – Balancing the Heat At the heart of heat transfer modeling lies the energy equation, a fundamental principle that governs how thermal energy is transported and conserved within a system. This equation acts as a balance sheet, accounting for all the heat entering, leaving, and being generated within a defined space. The energy equation considers various factors, conduction, convection, radiation, internal heat generation, like from chemical reactions or electrical resistance, and changes in internal energy due to temperature variations. By solving this equation, ANSYS Fluent can predict the temperature distribution within a system. Understanding the energy equation is crucial for interpreting simulation results and identifying potential errors. For instance, if the heat input is much larger than the heat output, 
It indicates an imbalance that needs investigation. Section 7. Boundary Conditions – Setting the Stage for Heat Imagine a theatrical stage without any scenery or props. It would be difficult for the actors to portray a convincing story. Similarly, in heat transfer modeling, boundary conditions provide the essential context for the simulation. They define how heat interacts with the boundaries of the computational domain. Common boundary conditions include specifying temperatures at surfaces, like a hot plate at a constant temperature, heat fluxes, like the heat radiated from the sun, or convection conditions, like the cooling effect of air flowing over a surface. Setting appropriate boundary conditions is crucial for obtaining accurate results. Incorrect boundary conditions can lead to unrealistic temperature distributions and mislead the design process. Careful consideration of the physical situation is essential when defining these conditions. Section 8. Meshing for Heat Transfer – Building a Thermal Grid Before running a heat transfer simulation, the computational domain needs to be divided into smaller, manageable cells called a mesh. This mesh acts as a grid upon which the energy equation is solved numerically. The quality of the mesh significantly impacts the accuracy and stability of the simulation. In regions with high temperature gradients or complex geometries, a finer mesh with smaller cells is necessary to capture the details of the heat transfer phenomena. Coarser meshes can be used in areas with more gradual temperature variations. ANSYS Fluent offers various meshing tools to create structured or unstructured grids tailored to the specific problem. A balance must be struck between mesh resolution and computational cost. Finer meshes require more computational resources and time to solve. Therefore, it's essential to optimize the mesh, refining it in critical areas while keeping it coarser in less demanding regions. Section 9. Convergence. Finding the heat balance. Running a heat transfer simulation in ANSYS. Fluent is like solving a complex puzzle. The software iteratively solves the energy equation, adjusting the temperature field until a state of equilibrium is reached. Convergence indicates that the solution has stabilized and the results are reliable. Monitoring convergence is crucial during a simulation. Fluent provides various residuals which measure the imbalances in the energy equation. As the solution converges, these residuals should decrease and approach a predefined tolerance level. Several factors can influence convergence, including mesh quality, boundary conditions, and solver settings. If convergence issues arise, it's essential to revisit these aspects and make necessary adjustments. Patience and a systematic approach are key to achieving convergence and obtaining trustworthy results. Section 10. Validation and Verification – Trusting the Heat Imagine building a bridge based solely on computer simulations without any real-world testing. It would be a risky endeavor. Similarly, in heat transfer modeling, it's crucial to validate and verify the simulation results to ensure their accuracy and reliability. Validation involves comparing simulation predictions with experimental data or analytical solutions. This step helps to assess how well the model captures the real-world physics. Verification focuses on ensuring that the numerical methods used in the simulation are implemented correctly and that the code is free of errors. Validation and verification are essential steps in the simulation process. They provide confidence in the results and allow engineers to make informed decisions based on the predictions. Thorough documentation of the validation and verification process is crucial for future reference and regulatory compliance. Section 11. Conclusion. Mastering the heat with fluent. Heat transfer is an intricate dance of energy, shaping our world in countless ways. ANSYS Fluent empowers engineers to choreograph this dance within the digital realm, providing insights into complex thermal systems and guiding the design of innovative solutions. From the slow march of conduction to the radiant embrace of the sun, we've explored the fundamental modes of heat transfer. We've delved into the energy equation, the heart of heat transfer modeling, and grasped the importance of boundary conditions in setting the stage for accurate simulations. Mastering heat transfer modeling with ANSYS Fluent requires a deep understanding of the underlying physics, a keen eye for detail, and a willingness to embrace the iterative nature of the simulation process. With practice, patience, and a thirst for knowledge, engineers can harness the power of Fluent to design a brighter, more efficient future.